Hi, I'm Professor Lynn Ritchie. In this video, we're going to take a look at intercultural conflict styles. Misunderstandings occur because of differences in our behavioral expectations, our norms and roles. Our cultural values and norms are evident by the way we communicate. How we communicate and our conflict styles reflect observable behaviors. How do other cultural groups approach misunderstandings? Let's look at four dimensions, individualism versus collectivism, power distance, self-perception, and low versus high context communication styles. When in conflict, individualists will express strong personal opinions, have emotional displays, expect personal accountability, and attribute behavior to dispositional characteristics. When in conflict, collectivists will share collective opinions and ideas. There will be emotional restraint. There is protection for group members, and behavior is attributed to situational factors. The next dimension, power distance. In countries with low power distance, we see more flexible role definitions, more informal interactions. There's more variation in the cultural knowledge, and there is the expectation that individual efforts will be rewarded. When in conflict, high power distance cultures will have more consistency of the roles for statuses, structured interactions based on status. There's consistency in cultural knowledge where everyone knows the rules. The next dimension is perception of self. When in conflict, people with an independent sense of self will be more autonomous, self-reliant, rational. Their presenting self will be credible and confident, and in conflict, they hold the individual accountable. When in conflict, people with an interdependent sense of self will view the self as resting with their group identity. They will be obligated to the group goals and focus on harmony. Social self-esteem is important or our face work. The presenting self is humble. The conflict style is to seek harmony, face management, and protection of members. Finally, we can look at low context and high context communicators. When in conflict, low context communicators will assume the sender is responsible for clear messages. They will be outcome oriented. They will confront problems. They will solve problems. They are action oriented. In contrast, high context communicators expect the receiver to be responsible for interpreting the message. We will hear more storytelling. And when we hear these stories, listen for the values. They are more process oriented. They will attend to the degree of face threat. They will maintain group harmony, win-win situations. Direct talk is threatening and that's related to our face management. When we are aware of our cultural differences, we can adjust our behaviors to the situation. We can become more high or low context and that's a matter of reframing. One instrument used to measure intercultural conflict is the Intercultural Conflict Styles Inventory developed by Dr. Mitchell Hammer. Hammer identified two dimensions for his inventory, direct versus indirect, and emotionally expressive versus emotional restraint. From this, he developed four conflict styles. The first is dynamic. This is direct 
and emotionally expressive communication. We find this in Arab, Middle Eastern, and African countries. The second is discussion. This is direct and emotionally restrained communication. We find this in North America, Europe, and Africa. The third is engagement. This is indirect and emotionally expressive communication. And we find this in Central and South America, Israel, Europe, and Africa. And the fourth is accommodation. This is indirect and emotional restrained communication. And we find this in Central and South America, Asia, and Africa. Next up, we'll explore some skills to help us manage our cultural misunderstandings. Okay, we'll see you soon.